Hey guys, I'm Steven and welcome to episode 4 of the Atlas Arm Prosthetic Hand Project. In this episode, I'm going to be designing the hand, I'm going to be printing it out in NinjaFlex, I'm going to be modifying my 3D printer extruder to print in flexible material, I'm going to populate the new forearm piece that I printed with all the electronics, and then of course final assembly and making the working product. Also, I messed up a little bit with the forearm part. The red part that I printed on the forearm was just a little bit too small, and every time I would try and put the electronics in, something would short, and I wouldn't quite get 5 volts out. I would get like 2.5, or there was some connection that wasn't working properly. So I went back into CAD, and I took this red part here, and I made it about a quarter inch taller, and gave my power boosts on the top just a little more space, and reprinted it overnight, and this part works a lot better now. Uh, fits all the electronics a lot more neatly and comfortably. I didn't really have to cram them in there. Uh, so this works a lot better than the first version. So when I was working on designing the new hand, I realized that printing out of hard plastic parts probably wasn't going to be the best idea, and I would probably get a better product if I made it out of flexible filament. But the extruder that I have for my Taz doesn't support flexible filament, and on the Lulzbot website it costs about $300 for a flexible extruder. But the cool thing about Lulzbot is that it's open source, so all of their designs and prototypes are online. I went hunting through their forums and I found a prototype while they were actually designing their flexible filament extruder and I downloaded it from their forum and I printed it out and this is the part, it's got some hardware in it, but this part cost me 62 cents to print and it does the exact same thing that the $300 extruder does except you have to take all the parts from the normal extruder and replace it onto this and it takes about 15 minutes and it's wear and tear on your extruder but I didn't have $300 and I didn't have time to wait for shipping so I just printed out this part, it works right out of the printer so I put this in and it let me print NinjaFlex.
All right, guys, that's the end of episode four. The next time I make a video about this project, I will probably have approval to be working with an actual amputee, and I'm gonna be making the whole thing pretty much from scratch. The electronics will be the same, but all the cattle will be from the beginning. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.